Today I'd like to demonstrate some of the features of Prometheus reports after 0.1.126. In particular, the UI2 process uh, pages, which are only available in the paid versions. There's an initial prompt asking you to confirm that you agree to the license agreement. Click on the blue link if you'd like to read it for yourself. And by clicking on OK, we get to a screen that looks like this. Boxes along the left show your information. The box on the right in the blue outline is used to go ahead and filter and dial through your data. I can scroll up and down and see immediately that some things are not outlined. Some are outlined in green and some are outlined in red. And this corresponds to information which is good, bad, or has not yet been set. And so by turning off the bad news and turning off the not set, I can look at just things which have already been classified as good news about my genome, or in this case, the Lee Mendel's genome. Similarly, if you're feeling a little more pessimistic, you can look at just the bad, or you could choose to turn on and off individuals of SNPs or genosets as categories, so you can really focus in on just the information that's really of interest to you. Instead of looking at uh, sorting just by magnitude, it's now possible to sort by frequency as well. And so we can say which of these are most common or most uh, most rare. And in fact, by turning everything on here, we get some SNPs, which are found at a little less than 1% of the population. This first one talks about increased risk of prostate cancer. The next one doesn't have much information, but this text here tells me that there is going to be a mention of attention deficit hyperactivity disorder, and several others are available in this list as well. What I'd like to do is filter these now and get rid of the ones that only have a single reference. Because there's only a single reference, there's only a, a single PubMed or OMIM or PharmGKB reference. And those are not particularly well researched. So by clicking the checkbox now, I get only ones which have at least two and up to 75 references. And here they are. So we've dropped out a bunch of them that only had one reference. In fact, by clicking the plus or minus buttons on these sides, you can really focus in on ones that are of more interest to you. We can do the same thing uh, by turning on the magnitude checkboxes as well and requiring things which have a magnitude already set and filtering these up and down with the plus or minus buttons. And by toggling between AND and OR, we decide whether to require both of these criteria to be met or only one. I'll come back to the references now and take this one here that talks about increased risk for cleft lip. Uh, it's one of the 23andMe SNPs, cleft palate, and farm GKB all talk about it. As with the traditional report, clicking on the RS number will take me into a page where I can read the full text about the SNP. And one more click takes me into various papers at PubMed. Having done that, I've been able to draw the conclusion that I really do believe that this genotype has a negative consequence, it's well replicated. And I'm going to switch into editor mode now. In editor mode, these links, rather than just going into the read-only mode, actually come into where you can go ahead and make the changes. I'm going to make it so that there's a 6x increased risk for cleft lip of the AA genotype, and that's already classified as being bad news. We'll make it magnitude 2, sort of the lowest level of worthy of, of note, I guess. And uh, we'll classify it as being bad, and then hit save page. You've just made an update to Snipedia, and if you're already logged in, great, it'll go easier. If not, you're going to see a recaptcha prompt. And then by clicking on save, you've made an improvement to Snipedia. Really strongly, I want to encourage you to do this. Uh, classifying all of this literature is an awful lot of work, but I think with all the users that we have, it could be done quickly. Now, it doesn't immediately update your Prometheus report to have the, uh, the red outline here, but if you run Prometheus again in a month or two, you will, in fact, find that that improvement has been made to the system, not just for your report, but for everyone's. So that's editor mode. I'm going to go ahead and turn off the reference filtering. I'm going to turn back on the genus sets, and once again, sort by magnitude. And this is how you're most used to seeing the, uh, the more traditional report. Uh, two more features to, to 
introduce you to. Uh, one is the um, ability to do progressive search through all of the different categories and medicines that we're working with. So if I search for C-A-N-C, -C, bladder cancer, breast cancer, cancer, 13, 2, 11, 26, the number in parentheses indicates how many SNPs are already in that category. I'm going to go ahead and focus on skin cancer for a moment. And what you'll see then is that here's our list of uh, all of the SNPs which are associated with skin cancer. I'm going to go ahead and click on the graph, and now here's a list of the terms, but in a graphical form. I'm going to zoom in here just a little bit. At the moment, it's being a bit slow for me, but you'll see what sorts of other uh, medical conditions overlap with uh, skin cancer. And you can manipulate this graph and move it around. Farm GKB is here as a category, but things like redheads and hair color down here by my mouse and uh, breast cancer, endometrial cancer. So this SNP here, RS2279744 TT, is linked to all of those different types of cancer. Whereas this one here, already classified in green, indicating that uh, Lily Mandel has the normal form, uh, is what's instead found for uh, redheads and hair colors. Her, her, she doesn't have the more rare variant that would produce red hair or otherwise influence that. So I'll close that window. And these are just some of the latest developments within Snopedia and Prometheus. Uh, I hope that these tools can help you to help us. Uh, so please, come on by, run your report again, and uh, see if these tools allow you to dig a little deeper into what you uh, know about yourselves and about all of us. Thanks. Bye.